Another manifestation of such decompressed zones in the atmosphere has been the increasing occurrence of clear air turbul turbulence where air pockets form without any apparent reason. Due to the disruption of the magnetic field in such areas, the adhesion between air molecules uh, decreases, leading to the formation of air pockets. Air simply ceases to support the plane. Moreover, water molecules in these areas behave in a similar way. Such phenomena of air decompression as well as atmospheric overturns are associated with areas of atypical magnetic anomalies. The Bermuda Triangle is one of these pathological zones. Planes and ships disappear there from time to time. There will be more turbulent pockets in the atmosphere, especially at altitudes of 26,000 feet, 8 kilometers kilometers and higher where most airplanes high, fly. These pockets are already breaking through to the ground and the time will come when there will be so many such pockets that flying and sailing will be impossible. If you take off, it's not certain that we will land safely. It will be very, very risky. It's scary to, to say that, but we have to talk about it because we're obliged to warn people. Unfortunately, in the consumer's formative society where human life worth nothing, such anomalies are not properly studied, and moreover, they will, they will be hushed up to the last moment so that not to cause panic and not to lose profits. How many airlines do you think will want to, to make a statement that flying is now dangerous? Well, you know the answer yourself. Let's summarize. Due to the malfunction in the Earth's core caused by the external cosmic impact, the magnetic field of our planet undergoes catastrophic changes. Anomalous auroras, light pillars, atmospheric voids, turbulence anomalies. These anomalies are formed by sudden bursts of electromagnetic energy from the planet's interior, and these bursts occur as a result of cavitation explosions and magma in the interior of our planet.